we are gonna solve this problem x is a real number and this equation x squared plus 25 x squared all over x plus 5 squared equal to 11. Before solving the problem, thanks for the like, subscribing, and turning on notification. Okay, here, when we see this problem, we see it is a square, x squared, and this part is what squared? By power rule, we can say a squared over b squared equal to a over b all squared. So here, I say 5x over x plus 5 squared equal to 11. Now here, it is for something squared plus something squared equal to 11. I want to change it to another term squared. If we use this famous and basic identity, there are around 50 important formulas and identities you should memorize in each topic, combinatorics, geometry, algebra, number theory. If you want to learn them, feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description. So here, a squared, b squared, like this, but 2ab. So here we have 2ab. I prefer to use minus. So equivalent to that identity is using for minus. You can use also plus, but for minus you will see it works. So I say x squared plus 5x over x plus 5 squared. I need what? Minus 2ab. So I write minus 2. x, 5x, x plus 5. Create this identity. I also add this to then it will be minus something plus something will be zero has no effect x plus five equal to eleven so if we use this identity here it will be x it is a of this identity minus five x so this part equal to x minus five x over x plus five squared plus now i write this term two so here two times x times five x two times five ten ten x squared over x plus five equal to eleven so if we simplify i use common denominator here it will be x plus five x times x x squared x times five five x minus five x all squared plus 10 x squared over x plus 5 equal to 11 negative 5x 5x will be cancelled so it will be x squared over x plus 5 squared plus 10 x squared over x plus 5 equal to 11 so we will see same thing x squared over x plus 5 and x squared over x plus 5 so I consider this part, this term, x squared over x plus y equal to t. So it will be t squared plus here is what in terms of t? 10t equal to 11. Now I take all things to one side, left hand side, t squared plus 10t minus 11 equal to 0. I can factorize t minus or plus 11, or you can use quadratic formula, but you can also factorize. t squared 11 minus 1, 10 t, 11 times minus 1, negative 11. So from this part, we conclude this is 0, or this one is 0. So if t plus 11 equals 0, then t will be negative 11 in case 1, case 2, or t minus 1 equal to 0, so negative one take to right hand side one so we know t is what t is here x squared over x square x plus y five here we should check both of them the first one x squared over x plus five equal to negative 11 for this part x squared over x plus five equal to one this part. If we cross multiply or multiply both sides by x plus 5, negative 11, x. So let me write 
negative 11x plus 5. So if we take it to left hand side x squared, negative 11x will be 11x negative 55 plus 11x negative 55 take it to left hand side plus 55 equal to 0 for this one x squared multiply by x plus 5 it will be this take this to left hand side x squared minus x minus 5 equal to 0 so i've written these two things here for solving this there are we i use quadratic formula so here if we use b squared minus 4ac this part inside the discriminant we, inside the square root we call it discriminant here because x is real number inside square root should be non-negative number b here is 11 so let me check a here is 1 coefficient of x squared b here is 11 and c equal to 55 here a is 1 b is negative 1 and c is negative 5 so here D is 11 uh, squared, B squared minus 4, AC, 4 times 55, which equal to 1 to 1, minus 4 times 5, 20, we have 2, 4 times 5, 22, and it is less than 0, so here we don't have any X that is real. This part, you can check that discriminant is positive, and we calculate negative B, negative negative 1 plus minus b squared negative 1 squared it is discriminant minus 4 ac times negative 5 all over 2a which is 2 times 1 so if we simplify it will be negative negative 1 positive 1 plus minus negative 1 squared is 1 negative negative plus 4 times 5 20 all over 2 so x will be 1 plus minus square root of 21 all over 2 so the answer is equal to this as i said there are around 50 40 50 important ideas in each topic combinatorics geometry algebra number theory if you want to learn them and improve your problem solving, feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description. Also, thanks for the like, subscribing, and turning on notification. You can use my other playlists, solve many problems, and improve your problem solving. Thanks for watching this video.